elementary students to class today on this Wednesday the 12th. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you've, I hope you've studied well for your test. And um, I kind of heard that there was some possible confusion on whether the test was today or not. And guys, I, uh, I hope you've studied. Um, I announced on Monday there was a test today. I announced it yesterday. And at the end of yesterday's video, I said, please, please study well for your test tomorrow. So guys, I hope you're ready for your test today, okay? Let's jump right into this. There will be a quiz on Monday, and so I will give you more information on that on Thursday. At this time, please turn in your review sheets. Jose, I already have yours, but for the rest of you, please pause, put your name on it, and turn it in, okay? Um, incompletes. Uh, let's see what we have here real quick. Okay, there are no incompletes, so we're good there. Let's continue on. Today we'll be taking a test. Um, remember, if you miss school on Friday due to volleyball early dismissal, there will be a quiz on Monday, so you must make sure you get caught up over the weekend, okay? Um, Jose, you'll take the test tomorrow. Since you're taking the test tomorrow, <clears throat> I went ahead and put up tomorrow's videos in case you want to do Thursday's work today since you're taking the test tomorrow. Now, Jose, you don't have to do that. If you don't want to, it's up to you, okay? But if you'll look at the playlist, you'll see Lesson 4.1 Notes and Homework, okay? So that's up to you. Okay, let's go over the test at this time. Please remember if you are in the room, then you will take the test. Also, it must be finished today, okay? If that means you have to finish it in study hall or after school, whatever, you must finish the test today, all right? Okay, here we go. Um, let me see here real quick. Oh, one more thing, guys. Um, yesterday in class, Mrs. Duke contacted me and said only one student was getting the bonus points <clears throat> due to um, people not working yesterday. Now, I warned you at the start of the video yesterday, if people weren't working, they would not get the bonus points on the test today. Okay? So, guys, you've got to learn to do what you're told to do. It hurts you when you don't do that, okay? All right, on the front, we see some fill in the blanks. 12 and 13 on the second page are listing. Now, I told you all 13 of those things would be on here, okay? Number 14, find the value of x given that those two lines are perpendicular, okay? Now, if you'll look at number 14, there's a line coming down and a line coming down, and there's a Q here. This is supposed to be a P right here. So this is, this is line P, and this is line Q, all right? Okay, moving on. On numbers 15 and 16, both of those questions have parallel lines. Find the measurement of the missing angle. Guys, you should be able to do that. You should know when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, what um, what the relationship is between the alternate interior angles, alternate exterior, corresponding consecutive interior, etc. So you should be able to do that. On 17, 18, 19, um, tell me how you know that the lines are parallel, okay? You'll use you'll use one of your six reasons from the previous two from one the, from the previous page, okay? So on number 17, tell me how you know that those two lines are parallel, A and B. There's there's a reason. Be specific and use the right reason, okay? All right. 20 and 21, a little bit of algebra. You're gonna have to set, you're gonna have to set up an equation and solve for x. Okay. 22 through 26, list out the correct numbers of the pairs of angles. For example, I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the answer to number 22. 22 says list out the alternate interior angles. So you would put five. Feel free to write this down. You'd put five comma two because they're alternate interior angles, and then you would put seven comma three. B 
because they are also alternate interior angles. So you're putting down all of the pairs of angles for each type there on 22 through 25. And then of course there is a word bank on the back. No one student told me the last time I gave a word bank it confused him. So if you don't want to use the word bank, don't use it. You don't have to, okay? Okay, that's all for today. Please get to work on your test. Have a great day today. Contact me if you have any questions at all.